Hey everybody, today I want to talk to you about the thoughts that we think and how those thoughts influence everything in our lives. Before we get going, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified when there are new videos available to watch. What do you think when you look in a mirror? Although it may not feel like it, a mirror is simply an inanimate object that reflects back what is in front of it and is incapable of causing pain. But it has been the source of quite a bit of pain and self-doubt for me over the years. The reason? It's not the mirror. The pain was self-inflicted by the thoughts that I think that lead to the emotions that I feel and the actions that those feelings lead me to take. Having been born with a bilateral cleft lip and palate, I tended to not spend all that much time in front of mirrors when I was young, outside of my normal morning routine, of course. All mirrors did for me back then was reflect the indisputable evidence of my facial difference. Breaking it down, my image is simply a collection of facts. I have hazel eyes and brown hair. I have olive skin and dark brown eyebrows. I have a smile that's been shaped through the years of orthodontia surgeries and false teeth. These are the facts of my face. The mirror does nothing but reflect what's in front of it. So where does my problem with what I see come from? It has to do with the thoughts that I think about what I am seeing. So let's see if you can notice a change when I list the facts of my face again, based on what I used to see when I looked in the mirror. My hair is brown, but I choose to color it because it's going gray faster than I'd like to admit. My dark brown eyebrows are uneven because the two sides of my nose are not shaped the same. So the point of reference for keeping them maintained is unequal. I've always liked my smile because when I do, it makes the downward slope of my lip less noticeable. Are these still the same facts that I listed before? Technically, yes, but they are colored negatively by how I think about them. These negatively colored thoughts lead me to develop negative feelings about how I look. I feel annoyed by the fact that my eyebrows are uneven. When I'm not smiling, I feel uncomfortable because my upper lip slopes down more on one side than the other. I feel vulnerable when I have to have dental work well into my 40s because I do not have my own natural teeth in the front of my mouth. These negatively colored feelings lead me to take the action of avoiding mirrors. I avoided being on camera. I would resist participating in events because I might have to speak on camera or into a microphone. And my pronunciation of some words can be difficult to hear clearly on recordings. I was stuck in this cycle of limiting thoughts, feelings, and actions for years. So what broke me out of this pattern of self-doubt? Learning about the think, feel, act cycle. Essentially, it explains the process by which our thoughts create our feelings and therefore lead to the actions that we take. Now that's kind of a clunky way of explaining it, but if you want to learn more and hear a much better explanation of it, listen to the Take a Break podcast by Rachel Hart. I put a link down in the description to the specific episode where she talks through this cycle. Rachel explains the cycle in such a way that the first time I heard it, I actually said out loud, holy crap, a light bulb went on for me and changed my entire approach to my own personal development. Now, like anything, it takes effort and it takes work on your part. It's hard to change a pattern of behavior that you've been stuck in for years. I know, but the work has been worth it. I've learned that I am the only one in control of the thoughts that I think and how I see myself. And the mirror is not the enemy. My limiting thoughts are not true. And I have the power to change those negative thoughts and replace them with positive, empowering thoughts that help me move forward and become more confident. So, what do I see when I look in the mirror now? The facts of my face are still the same, but the thoughts that I think about them are different and not colored with negativity. Yes, I have dark eyebrows that are not equidistant due to the uneven shape of my nose. But do you know what those dark eyebrows do? They set off my hazel eyes that I inherited from my father. Yes, my top lip droops down on one side more than the other. But when I laugh and smile, you can't even tell. And you know what? I love laughing and smiling. Breaking the pattern of self-inflicted pain from the thoughts that I was choosing to think about myself has made a huge impact on maintaining my self-confidence. So I hope that you can take some time 
and examine some of the thoughts that you think about yourself when you're feeling down or going through a hard time. The thoughts we think influence everything in our lives and doing the hard work of recognizing those thoughts that are colored with negativity and doing the work to change them will pay dividends. So do the work. It will be worth it. Take it from a girl who used to do everything possible to avoid being on camera. I've got my own YouTube channel and I find I actually enjoy making these videos. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.